2009, will it be the beginning of the end for the United States? A Russian professor is predicting that our country as we know it won't exist by the end of 2010. Also from the suburbs of Minneapolis to the front lines of holy war, the FBI theory behind the mysterious disappearance of more than a dozen young men. And a former NBA star, Charles Barkley, arrested on suspicion of drunken driving. What he has to say about the incident. Wolf Blitzer's off today. I'm Suzanne Malveau, and you're in the Situation Room. It was an awful year for many Americans, and if you believe a Russian professor, things may soon get worse. Well, his forecast, he says that the U.S. will disintegrate. Uh, CNN senior international correspondent Matthew Chance reports that that theory seems to be a big hit in Moscow. An economy in free fall, unpopular wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, and growing hardships at home as recession bites. As if things weren't bad enough, now one Russian professor is predicting the imminent breakup of the United States. I got the idea that the United States could disintegrate in the summer of 1998. I should admit that I was quite surprised to have come to this conclusion. Up until I started analyzing, I had no idea that the U.S. had this disintegration tendency. In brief, Panarin predicts that by 2010, the U.S. will break into pieces, including new republics centered on states like California and Texas. The eastern states will join the European Union, he says. Canada will grab a handful in the north, while Alaska would return to Russian rule. It's all the end result of a fractious civil war, triggered, says Panarin, by moral and economic degradation and immigrants. It may be just a crackpot theory with no real scientific research to back it up. But what's fascinating is how it's being received here in Russia. The Kremlin has long blamed the United States for everything, from instability in the Middle East to the global financial crisis. And this apocalyptic vision of America's future is suddenly being embraced. Professor Panarin, a former KGB analyst who heads Russia's diplomatic academy, regularly appears as a US commentator on Russian television and in national newspapers. Analysts say his high profile reflects anti-American sentiment here. Of course a lot of people in the world, including in this country, would like the United States to fall apart because it has been too mighty uh, and because it is uh, it looks now that it is, it, it is losing. But Panarin says he's being proved right by events. We're seeing indicators like the collapse of the Wall Street banks, a mortgage crisis in the USA, as well as a number of various domestic problems. Even five years ago, many of those problems didn't exist, and most people didn't believe my ideas. But today, when America has shown its vulnerability, people have started to take them more seriously. And in a country like Russia, which has huge problems of its own, the demise of the United States, its old enemy, is proving a powerful distraction. Matthew Chance, CNN Moscow.